So, so far, it's been relatively mild, all right? And no one's complaining about that. But this weekend, we could be in for some fairly serious snow. It's a possibility. Now, the good news is 15 minutes of snow shoveling can be a great workout. There's bad news, though. Shoveling can cause sprains and strains in our backs, our shoulders, that kind of thing. More than 110,000 people a year, if you can believe that, are treated for snow removal injuries. That is a stunning number to me. Joining us this morning, Dr. Julia Julia Bruni from Midwest Orthopedics at Rush uh, to give us some tips on how to survive the snow removal season. Yes, yes Julia, it's yes. good to see you. Yeah, it's great and to be thanks seen. Thanks for being here. So you're a, a doctor and a snow removal expert. I love yep, that. Yep, I, today I am. Well, yeah. so give us give us some just some general tips. I mean, we all know we're, we're supposed to sort of uh, you, you know take it easy a little bit when and not go rush into it too hard. But what yep. are some basic things we all have to remember? Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of funny. I've kind of been spoiled over the past few years. I've been living in a condo building but my husband and I are about to move into a house so this is my this is my new reality okay so I've kind of been boning up on everything so the first thing and the most important thing is to first check with your doctor just to make sure some people are not fit for for shoveling and for that type of strenuous activity um, sometimes when the snow piles up we very morbidly call that heart attack snow sure um, and that's true so anytime if, if I just want to make sure everybody knows any pain or pressure in the chest uh, pain that radiates to the jaw or down the arm or dizziness or lightheadedness uh, those could be signs of a heart attack and you need to stop Stopping to call 911. So, so if you feel that, like mm -hmm. I was out there a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. you know, doing my thing, and uh, and I was really going after. I thought, well, this is my workout yep. for the day. Yep. And at a certain point, I felt a little lightheaded, mm -hmm. and I thought, I'll just just move, just work right through it. Nope. Was that stupid? Should I stop? <laughs> I wouldn't yeah. say stupid, okay. but I would right. say, I mean, okay. I think the smart thing would be to okay. take a break, take a breather, drink some water, pace yourself. Really, okay. um, if we if you can kind of go early and often, that's the best way to do it. Chip away at that snow. Don't just try to go in and and. Uh, um, pick up the whole pile really mm -hmm. push it uh, or chip away from the top so that you're not you're not putting extra strain on your back or extra strain um, on your shoulders or upper body um, these types of ergonomic shovels can be really really helpful um, they really make it so you don't have to bend so much so that you can just push the snow and not lift it uh, that can really prevent back injuries prevent uh, prevent some some really uh, important injuries so okay. love the new ergonomic uh, handles okay yeah got it got it and then uh, now is there a particular way uh, yeah. Help me out here. Yeah, yeah. So, you so wanna, I, I want to shovel yep. standing up, right? Yeah. Well, you want to be kind of bent a little bit, bent yeah. at the knees, not bent yeah. at the back. No, we're going to bring you, bring it, like there this? you go. Okay. And then I want you to push it instead of lifting. So you so push the snow. Like that? Like that, exactly, right. Exactly. Huh? You got it. You got it. You're like natural going, already, huh? yeah. Did you get any of that? <laughs> Can we do that again for you? <laughs> It's good. We don't get it. Southpaw, take it easy over yeah, there. Right, All right. right. He's ornery. So uh, no, that's that's good to know. Yeah. Good stuff. Now, what, what else do you have here? So really, the other important part is to protect yourself from the cold. So so lots of light layers are really important. Protect your head. Protect your hands. Nice thick wool mittens would be helpful. Wait. Socks and boots with some tread. Wait, we got to wear like a championship you, belt. You can, especially if anybody's ever yeah. had any back problems. Okay. It's important. You can put that on. This goes in your back part. It's not like this. No, it's not like that. Oh, okay. I mean, right. you have to earn it though. I have to right. earn the yeah. belt. Right. Right. You have right. to do a really good job <laughs> at snow shoveling. Then you get to wear the belt. Then you get to wear the belt, yeah, but that right. can actually can right. prevent back strains. So that's, that's a good one to use. Right. Um, the next thing is that so if you don't want to shovel, you can snow blow. Um, so you well, can use our snow blower if you have one. I was gonna say, not everybody can afford one. Exactly. So either go with this one or go with this one, but it is a little bit less of a workout. The important thing is to never ever ever if the uh, snowblower gets jammed which happens I shouldn't do this. It's to never stick your hand in there absolutely not okay. so if it jams you shut the machine off you wait a few minutes and use some type of tool or an object to kind of clear it out because there's blades both in the chute and in the bottom there so uh, the the rotors can recoil and damage your hands so that's we a really important right thing. Now, you think? Is this working in here? <laughs> no, no, probably. We probably shouldn't do that. Right. Um, obviously never stick your hands in there mm -hmm. um, the engine could get very hot you could burn yourself so make sure you're not you're not touching it ever um, and then making sure that no kids are ever using it. So usually around the age of 15 or older, or the most uh, is probably the most uh, appropriate age to be using a snowblower. Um, Julia, boy, I know where to go now for all my uh, my needs. Your cold uh, weather and, show and snow removal needs. Midwest yep. Orthopedics will take care of everything. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Yeah. Julie, it's great to see you. Yeah. Thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. And hope you don't have to shovel too much no. this winter. Hopefully all right? not. Hopefully yeah. not. All right, Mark Strell, did you learn something there, buddy? Holy, I did not know that you could get a championship belt and snowblower. Yeah, I know. I, 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 now I'm anxious to to do some shoveling. <laughs> that is yeah. awesome. I was waiting for you to fire up that snowblower. <laughs> you know? Uh, maybe Southpaw will do that later on. Uh, 31